We've heard what the politicians have to say about the Fair Deal panel, but let's bring in an expert. It is John Santos. He is a data scientist, and I know you've been talking a lot and polling people on the Fair Deal panel. What is it that you found in comparison to perhaps what they found? So we were in the field in March uh, with questions asking about Fair Deal panel policies, and we found that 31% uh, of Albertans support the idea of uh, provincial police force, 37% support an Alberta pensions plan, 34% support the creation of an Alberta revenue agency. I mean, these are pretty muted support numbers. Like, there's support out there, but no one's on fire about this stuff. And so I think to see a report come back from the Fair Deal panel committee where, you know, uh, less than half of people in most of these cases say that they think these things would make things better for Alberta shows that, you know, there, there isn't a lot of public appetite for these policies. So then what would you say was the real reason for this fair deal panel that was very extensive throughout the entire province? That's a really good question. I'm wondering that myself. Um, you know, there's been polling done by several companies um, you know that have in the in the past few years that have showed that people aren't on fire about this stuff and so you know I think some cynics might look at the government and say this is their attempt to both uh, give angry Albertans a sort of pressure release valve to vent their frustrations, but also at the same time to sort of stoke that that anger and be the political masters of it and who can channel it into continued electoral support, political donations, and that sort of thing. And some might say that that's also what a referendum would do, because Kenny is now promising a 2021 referendum on the issue. And yet people say, then what happens if it is a yes? Exactly. I mean, we can say, I mean, Albertans can vote overwhelmingly uh, to say that there are problems with, with equalization. And, and I think we need to be clear that when Albertans say they don't like equalization or they want to get rid of it, it's not actually to get rid of the idea of equalization. It's they're angry with how it's being implemented. But, but regardless, even if Albertans vote in overwhelming numbers that equalization is bad, then what? We can't, we can't get rid of it unilaterally. It requires a constitutional amendment. And for those of us who are old enough to remember Meech Lake and Charlottetown, um, or at least have read about it in the history books, we know that amending the Constitution is very, very difficult. Absolutely. Any last thoughts on the Fair Deal panel and maybe going ahead, what we're going to see about it? Well, I, I think Jason Kenney is, is walking a very fine line here. He's trying to show that he's attuned to uh, the anger of Albertans, uh, while at the same time um, not fanning the flames. And I think there is, there is a danger here, you know, especially when Alberta's deficit has gone from 7 to $20 billion. You know, if, if we end up going down the road of implementing some of these policies, there's real fiscal implications behind that. And whether Alberta can afford, you know, to, to enact these things on the basis of principle, I, I don't think people are buying that. All right. Thanks so much for your thoughts. John Thank Santos, you. a pollster and data scientist.